Hi everyone, this is Zisha here. Today on the menu we have steamed fish with some vegetables. Steamed fish is a great way to get your protein, your vegetables, and it's like an entire meal. It's filling and it's healthy. I am not following any specific recipe. I'm just going with whatever vegetables that I have. Um, I also have a red snapper that I bought. I wash my snapper with salt, vinegar, and lime, and I just lightly seasoned it to keep it, you know, a little preserved, and I, I stuck it right in the freezer. That was about two nights ago, so today I just thawed them out, and I have my vegetables. Usually when people make steamed fish, they'll make it with okra, um, kalaloo, and things like that, but I don't have that here. So for my vegetables, I have some Irish potato that I peeled and chopped also have pumpkin um, maybe like a quarter of a pumpkin I had some left over so I just cut that up and then I also have some carrots those are two carrots there and for my seasonings I have a piece of rosemary one medium onion chopped I have two pieces of scallion here and about four or five cloves of garlic for the dry seasoning, I have thyme, of course. I wish I had some fresh thyme, but I don't. Sea salt, this Caribbean favorite, cock soup. I would have loved to make it with some fish tea uh, seasoning, but I don't have, so I'm just going to use that. All-purpose seasoning, olive oil, of course, some pimento seeds, and parsley flakes. I also have three red snappers. They're cleaned already, lightly seasoned, and they were put in the freezer. If you're a pescatarian or someone that just likes to eat fish, I find it very convenient to buy your fish in advance. Say like um, if you go to the fish market weekly, buy the fish that you're going to need for the week and then you clean it, lightly season it, and put it right in the freezer whenever you're ready to cook it. And you know, fish doesn't take long to cook, so that's what I like. So here goes my red snapper. And I almost forgot. Caribbean people, specifically Jamaicans, they love steamed fish with water crackers. So I did get a pack of Excelsior water crackers to put on top. I don't really care for them, but my husband wants his steamed fish with this on. So I'm going to put some of the water crackers on top of his fish. So the first things first, I'm going to start by preheating my pan. I'm going to put it to medium high. Just to get it hot and I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil enough to cover the bottom once my pan is hot I'm gonna turn it down to medium and then I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of butter so now that my butter is melted I'm going to add in my fresh seasoning I'm gonna add in my garlic the onion my rosemary and I'm also going to add in about four pieces of pimento seeds. I'm just going to stir that around so that it doesn't burn. And then with my scallion I'm going to take one. I have two of them. I'm going to take one and put it in here now to release all of the flavor. Just cut that up right inside. Mix again. And grind a little bit of sea salt. Just to incorporate all the flavors together. And I can't forget my thyme. Oh. This smells so good. So now that all of my fresh seasoning is caramelized, I'm going to add in my vegetables. So I, like I said, I have my potato, my pumpkin, and my carrots. This is so fragrant. The thyme and the rosemary with the um, pimento seeds. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I'm going to cook my vegetables for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to put it on medium low. Then I'm going to cover it. 
Now that my vegetables are cooking for 10 minutes, I'm gonna go and season up my fish a little bit. As I previously stated, my fish is already lightly seasoned, so I'm not gonna add too much seasoning onto the fish. I'm gonna start off with some sea salt. All-purpose seasoning. Parsley flakes. And about one bay leaf. If you guys like black pepper or cayenne pepper, you can add it as well. I'm gonna use a little cayenne pepper. And now I'm gonna sprinkle the cock soup or fish tea, whatever, whichever one you have. I like the noodles inside of the cock soup. So I just dumped that right in there. This was about a half a pack of the cock soup. I had some left over. With the rest of the scallion, I'm going to cut it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna open each fish and just dump some of the scallion inside. So now that my fish is seasoned the way that I want it, I'm going to check my vegetables. So my vegetables, they're still a little undercooked. However, they're gonna cook with the fish, so I'm going to turn my stove back up to medium high. Make some room for the fish. So I'm gonna take my fish, all the seasoning, and I'm just gonna place my fish into the pan. I'm going to push my vegetables on top of the fish. And then in my bowl where the fish was, I'm gonna add some water. And I'm gonna dump that right in. Now I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of butter and place it right on top of each fish. I'm gonna leave it uncovered for a little bit, maybe five minutes or so, just to help the water dry out a little bit. And then I'm gonna cover it, let it steam for the rest of the cooking time. And then about five minutes before finish time, I'm going to add some water crackers and I'll be back. We are 10 minutes into cooking time. I'm going to take this time and turn my fish over. And then in another 10 minutes, I'm gonna add my water crackers. So the fish has been cooking for an additional 10 minutes on the other side. I'm now gonna take the water crackers and place it on top of the fish. Like I said, I don't like water crackers, so I'll be putting it on my husband's fish alone. Which one should I give him? The small one or the big one? The biggest one is in the middle, so I'll give him the big one. Gonna cover it back and cook it for an additional five minutes, then let the water crackers get nice and soft. The steamed fish is done. I'm gonna turn off the stove, let that sit for about another 10 minutes. With the steamed fish, I have some leftover kale that I'm going to eat with it and some leftover white rice. But that is it. Looks delicious, can't wait to taste this. So I have my steamed fish with my vegetables. It's time for me to taste this and see how it came out. Looks good, I know it's healthy, and I know it tastes even better. Let me try it and see. This is the bomb.com. Oh my gosh, it is very tasty. Let me try the vegetables. The vegetables are cooked perfectly. It's not overcooked. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know why I made steamed fish a long time ago. 
fish can be a little bit intimidating because it's fish. You don't want to overcook it. Um, but it's so easy and so much healthier. Mm. Love, 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 love this dish. So if you haven't already, check out my other cooking videos. Um, I'll be sharing the info card on this video. So check them out. And, and let me know what tricks you have for steamed fish. Guys, this is really good. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate all of you who watch my videos and like them. And if you already subscribed, I thank you so much for that as well. I will see you all next video. Bye, guys.